Hey, it's Elena from Bear in Mind Planner Company. Today we're gonna do a checklist full box with an ombre effect. This is gonna be an add-on video from the last one I did. So if you haven't already seen how to create digital stickers using Keynotes, might wanna go back and check that one out first before we get started here. Today we're gonna to be using Keynotes. So let's open our application. We're gonna be creating a checklist full box. Uh, this one's gonna be with an ombre effect. You can do this with any colors. If you haven't yet seen the first video for Keynotes, I want you to go back and uh, watch how to create digital stickers. I'll put that down in the description below, a link to it. That way you can get a feel for what we're gonna do because I'm gonna go through this quicker than I did the last time. So Keynotes uses points instead of inches. Now we are still going to use the 1.5 inch by 2.25 inch, and we're gonna convert that to points, so that's 108 points by 162 points. And now for our boxes, we have to create these individually. And now we wanna take, this is our 2.25 inch, and so we wanna divide that. Right now I have five columns that I wanna create. One, two, three, four, five. So 2.25 inch divided by five equals 0.5 inches. Convert that into points, that is 32.4. I just rounded it and said 32 points. We can finagle with our boxes to make them fit perfectly in our planner and good notes later. So first thing we're gonna do is create our rectangles here and like I said at 32 points so now I'm gonna hit the plus and I have already created my box here I want to bring that up and I'm just going to select it and hit copy and paste and paste till I have five There we go. Now to work with these, we do need to put them all together and so I'm just gonna change the colors of them. This just makes it easier for me to work with visually. And now we're going to, see those yellow lines that pop up? Those are our guidelines. They're helping us get everything in line and together you can zoom in a little bit and see what we're what we're doing so everything is touching in order to do a gradient color you can choose from colors working on the background there i want to work with each shape you can choose colors that are already present in uh, or preset in keynotes you can even go over here to color and uh, say we'll do this green And so you see how easy that is. Right away I filled a box up with a nice gradient color pad, pattern and go, you can move on from here. If you want to get more customized in your colors, I'm gonna show you a great resource and it's called Coolers. I think that's how you pronounce it, C-O-O-L-O-R-S. It is uh, coolers.co. Anyways, it's free to get started and uh, you just put in your email address and I've signed up here. You can go to generate and this will bring up color palettes for you. You can just go to explore and this will give you a nice variety and this arrow right here, click over and you can just explore all of the color options that they have. You can do the latest, the picks, the bests. And what's nice about this too is you can add these to your favorites. Um, this uh, three lines right here, it'll show me color palettes that I've favorited in this uh, website. So let's do, let's view this one. I like that pink color. So this also gives us our hex colors on the bottom which is very nice, and if you tap on it, 
you get more options that come up. What I like is that option with all the boxes because it gives us this beautiful gradient or ombre uh, of that color, which that's what I wanna work with today, okay? So I'm gonna go over here, I really like this pink. I'm gonna hit that. Let's see here. And all I'm gonna do is take a photo of it, a screenshot. I'm gonna go back over here to Keynotes and add a photo. Go to Recents, grab your photo. Now you don't need it that big, obviously. So this is what we're gonna work with here. So at this point now I can determine do I want to go lighter to darker, darker to lighter. You can also use totally different colors, it doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do is tap on that first box at the top and I am going to go lighter to darker. I'm going to hit the paintbrush tool, I'm going to go over to fill, and I'm underneath the color option, I'm going to slide it over, and right here there's an eyedropper. I want to pick up that eyedropper and click on the color that I want. So click on the box, open it up, go to color, swipe over, eyedropper, I'm gonna go two down so it makes a, a difference there in the color. Click on my box, go to my paintbrush, go over to color, swipe over, and pick my color. Whoops, I need to select my box over Let's see here there we go select my box and just like that we have a beautiful ombre effect now what I'm gonna do is get rid of this Having our nice ombre effect, we have individual boxes now, and you can see each individual box. I want you to keep them individual boxes just for a moment. We're going to, I'm gonna add a star as my checkbox. You can add, uh, actually I wanna make that bigger. You can add circles, squares, whatever you prefer. I like the star, I think it's cute and I'm using the guidelines to line that up in the center. And I also want to change the color to white and copy it, paste it, again using my guidelines. And that's so everything is even those yellow guidelines, they can be a pain in the butt, but they can also be useful sometimes. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship with guidelines. All right, now that we have our checklist on there, we have our ombre effect. This is the only thing I have on the page. I'm just gonna click off to the side and hit select all. Now I know everything is selected and I'm gonna hit group. Now this as a whole is one object which I really like to use because we want to make this larger and I'm gonna show you why. Make it large because everything is going to be crisp when you transfer it over to your GoodNotes app. And so I want you to hit copy and go over to your GoodNotes app and jump over to uh, my sticker book here that's what we were working on the last video. I'm gonna hit paste. So there you can see that everything on this sticker, whoops, I'm trying to make it bigger for you, is nice and crisp. Okay, so size it to whatever you'd like. Place it in your sticker book or in your planner, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna show you that if you keep this too tiny and copy it, bring it over to GoodNotes, it's not gonna be as crisp, okay? So 
save it as a larger file and it will transfer over better. All right, that will wrap us up for today on making a ombre checklist box. If you have questions and comments, please leave them down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see upcoming videos that I post. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.